Good morning, everyone. It's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I have some quick and simple card ideas that I want to share with you that feature a new product suite called Fine Art Floral. And so I actually have two different card designs, but I have six different cards that I created. So I want to share these simple um, card designs with you and then tell you a little bit about the new product suite. So, so good morning, everyone. So these are the two card designs that we are going to be making today. Um, so one of the things that I just wanted to share with you is that um, there's a, this is obviously a very large uh, focal point. So when I was designing these cards, I actually put together the focal point first. So I put together this very large floral image, and then I kind of worked around this large floral image to develop my card design. So I just wanted to share that little tip with you in case you struggle a little bit with designing cards. When you put together your focal point first, it kind of makes it a little easier to put together the rest of the card design. So, so good morning, everyone. All right, so these are the cards that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to actually move them out of the way for the moment. I'll move these out of the way. I'll bring them back in a minute. So these are the two different designs. And this is what the Fine Art Floral Designer Paper looks like. So there's lots of different colors in this designer paper. And these are the patterns that are in this particular paper. So I'm actually using some of the floral images from one of the pattern papers to create these cards. So you might notice that this floral image here on this card looks very similar to the one that's on the designer paper. That's because I cut it right out of the designer paper. So I love when Stampin' Up! does that, when you're able to cut those right out of the paper. So this particular paper has, um, I'm going to bring it back here, just has some pretty abstract kind of paintings to it. You know, it's got that, what do you call that, that splatter kind of look with the uh, with the designs that are on the paper. So it's kind of a, a fun little paper pack to play with. And then this is the stamp set that I'm using. So it's called Art Gallery. And now I could stamp the images, but today I just am going to show you how I cut these out of the designer paper. But you can, of course, stamp your images. And then, of course, I did stamp the little uh, stem for the flowers. But it does have a lot of different greetings in it to make cards. So that's very cool. And on the inside, I always keep my die set on the inside. So these are some of the dies that come with the set. So this is the die that I used actually to cut out the floral design from the patterned paper. So I'm going to show you that. So I have a little piece of pattern paper here. Um, so there's a variety of different colors. It's kind of a, a pretty busy pattern. So it was it was kind of fun to cut these out. But this um, this little die actually fits on here. I turn it the correct direction. <laughs> it really does fit on here, guys. <laughs> um, and you can cut out your floral image. Oh, well, no, I can't seem to figure out how to do it. There we go. So you can cut out your um, some of the flowers that are in this particular pattern paper. So that's actually what I did to create all of the cards that, uh, that I have today. So let me show you these pretty simple designs. We'll start with this one. So like I said, I actually created this focal point first. So I cut out my little floral image and then I stamped my little um, stem and my leaves and just kind of laid it on the card and tried to decide, okay, now I have a pretty big focal point here. How am I going to decorate this card? So there's a little tip for you. That's one way to kind of, you know, I guess, decide how you're going to um, decorate the card. So you can see that this takes up pretty much half the card here, over half the card. So I kind of focused on, you know, doing some designs on this side of the card, knowing that I was going to put my focal point on that side. Whoops. So what I did is first I cut a 
one by five and a half inch piece of designer paper. So I'm just gonna adhere that on the left side of the card. So I didn't do a whole lot of decorating, but it turned out pretty cute. And then I did a little bit of my paper tearing. So this is just Mossy Meadow cardstock and it's five and a half inches long. And it was about a one, one and a quarter inch wide piece. And I just did a little paper tearing. So I'm gonna add that. And I added it right over the top of my uh, pattern paper. So it just kind of gave it a fun little look. So you can already see how the card is, is coming together. And all I did was just kind of lay my focal point on the card. So that's really all I did to decorate this. I'm going to actually put this on the card here. So this I want here. So actually I'm gonna put this on first. So I'll put this right about there. And then we'll put this on the top. And so I just pop those up with some dimensionals. So that's the basic design. So if you have a pretty big focal point, you know, pretty big image that you want to use, whether it's a die cut or, you know, like in this case, I have the die cut, but you could do this with punch images too. Um, you can just lay your image on the card and then just kind of design around it. So that's what I did for this card. And then I'm going to add my uh, little greeting here. So I'm just using one of the dies from the set to create my little greeting. So I'm going to pop it up with a couple dimensionals. And of course, I'm on my birthday card making kick here. So I'm just creating birthday cards, getting ready for this new year of birthdays. All right, so that's it. And then the last part is you can just go ahead and add some little embellishments here. So I'm using some of these gold, um, gold, what are they called? <laughs> gold enamel dots. <laughs> Can't even think of what they're called. So let's add the rest of these. And I'm adding them just kind of all around the, the floral image here. I like to add them in either groups of three or groups of five. So we're going to do the five here. And that's it. Pretty simple, right? And then I did a little bit of decorating on the inside using a new um, stamp set that has some really fun um, sentiments for the inside, but I did a similar kind of decorating on the inside. So then I have a birthday card that's all ready to go. All right, so that's the first design. And then the second design I have here, I wanted to use the same kind of large focal point. So this time I decided to pop it up on a die cut. So this is, um, you can use any die cut shape that you want. So I just happened to choose this one, but you can use a die cut. You can just cut a, you know, a rectangular shape from a piece of white cardstock, whatever you want to do. But by popping it up onto this white piece here, it gives me the ability to do some decorating in the background because this is such a large image. Okay. So for this one, let me get some glue on here. I actually started with a piece of pattern paper. So I'm using that fine art floral pattern paper. So this piece is five and a quarter by four inches. So it leaves a nice little matting around the outside here. So I'll put that down first. And then this, I just cut a piece of mossy meadow cardstock just to kind of bring out some of the green that's in my floral image. So this is just a two by four inch piece. So we'll 
add this as soon as I get the glue working. Here we go. So this I'm just going to put right across the center. So it just kind of adds a little bit more color. Like I said, kind of brings out that color in the flower itself. And then we'll add our little die cut. So this I'm just going to lay flat because I'm actually going to pop up my flower. So we'll just lay this in the center of the card. And then my floral. So it's a pretty big floral image. So it kind of goes from, you know, end to end here of my die cut. I'll lay this down first. And then we'll lay this one down. And right about there. And then we'll just add our little greeting and that's it. Let's see. So let me just grab these. I'm just putting my dimensionals on here. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So then we'll add this piece on here and then we have another cute little birthday card. And I'm just going to add a couple little gold enamel dots again just to dress this up and then we have our second card so again it's a great way to use a large image and still you know create a fun little background uh, for the card so and then on the inside i got a little wild here and added a big floral image <laughs> and then some other stuff on the inside so all right so we'll move this to the side so those are pretty much the two card ideas that i wanted to share with you so they're easy designs as you can see um just you know one has just a very thin piece of pattern paper the other one has a piece of pattern paper that covers the entire background of the card but you can take these two card designs and you can create additional cards. So in this case, um, I'm using the same type of image. I'm just changing out the colors. So I grabbed another one of those floral images from the pattern paper and cut it out and then just created, you know, the same, use the same layout, just created a different, um, a different color card, I guess is the best way to explain it. So I have four here. And then this last one I used, I really like this last one. This is that Mary Merlot color. So again, it's the same card design. This time I just changed out the colors of the pattern paper that I, or I I'm sorry, the uh, card stock that I'm using and the pattern paper. So it's just kind of, kind of a fun way to create six different cards. Now I could have, you know, chosen a different stamp set. So keep in mind that obviously th this stamp set is not available yet unless you're a demonstrator. So you can still use these same card designs with some of the stamp sets or items that you have on hand. Um, so just take a look at some of your stamp sets and see if you have some very large images that you could use to create cards like this. So I just wanted to share a couple ideas with you guys and um, just kind of get you excited about the new catalog. So just remember the new catalog starts on Tuesday. Um, so I'm pretty excited about all the fun things that are coming out. And this is one of the product suites that is coming out. So of course I've shared quite a few things with you over the last couple of weeks to get you excited. So I hope you're excited. You can get more information about these cards and the specific dimensions for all of the things that I shared with you. In case you missed it, you can get it out on my website. So I did link to my blog in the description with this video. So, so that's all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and I hope you had a very happy start to, new, to your new year. And I will see you guys again next week. Take care, everybody.